Hey, so um, we're, we take, we, we kind of come back to this uh, first tutorial that we worked on with the robot. And we have motion in here. I've made a few changes here since um, I made the tutorial video. Uh, where before I had these control uh, events um, you, that I was using here to move. And I had them, these up arrows, down arrow, and all that. I had those separate. And I had a, uh, one for each um, key, up, down, right, and left. I've removed that and I've put the code inside an if statement. Very similar to the snake game in, 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 a, in a sense a little bit, okay? Now, notice all this is inside a forever loop because you want to constant, constantly be checking to see if you press on any of these keys. If you don't put it inside a loop, then it, it checks each one once when you first start your game and never checks again. So we want this to constantly be checking. So I've put them in here. There was also wait. Uh, I notice I, I have the switch costume to like symbolize motion or, or simulate motion. And there was a wait in between, but the wait would make the motion a little laggy. And so I just got rid of it. But now we don't see the, the, the switch between costumes because it happens so quick. It's happening, but it just happens so quick that our eyes don't capture it. So in any case, I, I have here just a go to when I first click on the flag, go to zero zero. Um, I've set my size here to 80% of the, the original size. And I have my motion. And that's all I have thus far. What I want to spend time uh, looking at today, and I'm trying to cover as much of these different functionalities that you might want to incorporate into your game. Um, I'm trying to just kind of give you as much as I can here. So what I'm going to work on right now is on, on the simulation of shooting a projectile. Like say you want to make a little game where maybe like a Space Invaders game where you're shooting um, little projectiles and and killing enemies, if you will. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go, um, I'm not going to add a separate sprite because, um, well, you'll see in a minute why. I'm going to go to costumes and I'm going to, I have these costumes that some I'm not using anymore. So I can get rid of this as a, if I'm not using it, I'll just leave them there. I'm going to add here a costume. And I'll look up a rocket because that's what I'm going to be shooting. Notice there's a few hits here. Um, I'll pick one with a, with a little plume. So I'll pick this one. And notice it's pointing up right now. Um, I'll leave it as pointing up for now. We'll see how that works uh, later down the road. Notice that my robot changed it now. It's a rocket. Uh, and we want it to start off by default as this. So I'll, I'll switch the costume back. The rocket is still there. Now here's how this is going to work. Um, when I shoot off a rocket, what's going to happen is that you're going to clone yourself. That's how we're going to simulate this. And it's not the only way, but probably um, the best way I found. So I'm going to go into, I'm going to write a separate um, algorithm here. And we call these algorithms, it's a set of instructions that carries out a specific task. This algorithm is the algorithm that we're using to move the robot. I'm going to write a separate algorithm to um, shoot a projectile. I'm going to, once again, make a forever loop here so that we constantly check to see if we press on the space key, which is the one I'm going to use to shoot a projectile. We go to sensing here. There's key pressed, and it's already the space key. If you sh you press on the skate uh, space key, I want to go here to event uh, to control, and I want to create a clone of myself. It makes and so now. What happens if I if I just try it right now? If I press space key. Notice that, well, let me actually do this one more time. If I'm moving and I press the space key, notice how it kind of, it's shedding clones. Those are all clones. You're making copies of yourself. That's what happens. Uh, however, when I press on the space key, it's making like too many clones. Like if I press the space key once, notice it made like three clones. And that's because this was checked multiple times as my finger was holding down the space key. The computer is processing this at a, at, a, at a really fast rate. 
So although to me it feels like I just press the space key for less than a second, in that time, this was checked multiple times. And so it created three clones. How do we avoid that? We can put a wait, just a, a, a wait here after we create a clone so that we don't um, maybe wait, I don't know, 0 0.1 seconds so that we don't check again until after 0 0.1 seconds. So let me try it and see. See that now I made one every when I press the space key. If you hold the space key, obviously it's going to be more than one. No, okay. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so, um, okay. Now we have some code here um, that makes a clone. And then if you notice here, there's another block here under control that says when I start as a clone. Now, what does this do? Well, right here, we're going to write the code that we want um, the clone to process, to, to implement. Uh, so when I start as a clone, I want to do a few things here. First, I want to switch my costume. So I go to looks and switch costume to rocket. So now that if I press on the space key, notice that it makes a clone, but it's the rocket now. Uh, the rocket is a little too big, so... I'm going to go to um, looks and I'm going to set size to uh, maybe like 40% of the current size. So shrink it a little. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, good. Um, now I, I want the rocket to move. I want the rocket to shoot off. And so I'm going to say here, I'm going to do that with a loop. I'm going to say uh, forever. Yeah, actually, you know what? Um, I'll do forever now. Forever, and then I'm going to go to motion, and I'm going to move 10 steps. So forever is going to move 10 steps. There it is. Notice how it, it shoots. If I hold the it, – it looks – it's looking good. I think uh, it, the, the speed is good. I think I want to wait here like maybe two tenths of a second because it's a little sensitive to the space key and it might, it, it seems like sometimes it makes more than one rocket. So this is much better. Now the rocket itself is always pointing up. So we need to fix that. Notice the, ro the rocket there is still there. It's just kind of hanging out there on the edge of the screen. And you'll, no and, and you'll find that when you make too many clones, your code breaks. It's like, it kind of like runs out of memory in, in a sense. So we want to delete that rocket. We don't want it to just sit there. But we have like the shooting motion now. But it's always shooting to the right. So that's not good. And okay. Now um, we could put here, we could instead of putting move 10 steps, we could uh, change X by 10. But then that's always going to move to the right. And if I put change X by negative 10, Again, it's always going to move to the left. Notice it actually did move. Um, and then I would have to then also include change Y if I wanted to go up. And it did. You, I kind of you didn't quite see it there, but it moved up. So how is the move 10 steps different? Well, the move 10 steps, it moves in the direction that the rocket is facing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a variable that is going to basically tell us in what direction to face. So I'm going to make a variable called bearing, which is like basically um, when they say, what's your bearing? Well, I don't know if bearing is a good variable. We'll just call it direction. And I do want you to notice here, if you go to motion, there is this direction. Like if I click that on, it tells me what direction I'm moving and I'm pointing. And it's 90 degrees always. And you can see here, point in direction. If you click here, oh, if you click in here, notice how there's this little compass here. 90 degrees points to the right. 180 would point down. Negative 90 to the left. Zero up. And so what I want to do 
is I want to, if I'm, if my um, pressing the right arrow, I want bearing to be 90. If I'm pressing the down arrow, I want bearing to be 180. If I'm pressing the left arrow, I want to set bearing to negative 90. And if I'm pressing the up arrow, I want to set bearing to zero. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to go ahead and come in here to variables. And I'm going to drag this set direction to. Again, if I'm going up, I want to set it to zero. If I press the down arrow, I want to set it to 180. If I am moving to the right, I want to set it to 90. And finally, if I'm moving left, I want to set it to negative 90. Now, why is this going to help us? Well, because now we have this variable that basically tells us in what direction we're, we're facing. And so when we, uh, before we move 10 steps in, uh, in uh, any direction, we're going to set the direction of the clone. So we're going to go here to motion and we're going to say point before you move 10 steps point in whatever direction is determined by the arrow keys. And so if I go to variables, I can drag this block direction and put it in there. So point in whatever direction um, has been determined by the keys and then move to 10 steps in that direction. So this, if I move, notice how right here, the direction variable, this, this is the direction of the robot, which we are not gonna mess around with. So this is the variable that I've created. I'm, point, I'm, I'm moving to the left, so direction is negative 90. I'm moving to the right direction is 90. Down, direction sets, is set to 180, up is zero. So now when I shoot, I'm moving up the, the rocket moves 10 steps in the direction that I want it to move. Now you can see here that the rocket is, is kind of flipped. It's not quite right. And that has everything to do with costumes here. Uh, the, the rocket is pointing up. I'm going to actually tr um, rotate it to point to the right like that. And um, the plumes here. You can either erase them. Actually, I'll delete them. There, got rid of those. So pointing to the right is, is 90. Now this coincides with, um, with the values I've put here. To the right is 90. So let's try it one more time. Oh, I need to go back to costumes and set this to the default costume. Notice the rocket is now pointing in the correct direction as I am shooting this off. If you keep the arrow pressed, you see more rockets just going all over the place. Uh, what we do want to do here is get rid of those rockets. You can barely see here the little uh, plume of the rocket. We want to delete them because we don't want them to be hanging out there. It, it's going to break our code. I also want to get rid of this. Um, I don't want to show this anymore, so I'll go to variables. And I want to uncheck this variable so that it doesn't show up there. Now, how do I get rid of a rocket? Well, when I start as a clone, switch the costume to a rocket, change the size. I'm actually going to make the rocket just a tad bit smaller. Point in the direction determined by wh uh, what direction you're moving based on the arrow keys. And then move forever, move 10 steps in that direction. I'm actually going to not put this in a forever block. I'm going to do like a while loop instead. So I'm going to say that repeat until. So right here, repeat until this condition is um, no longer true. Okay. Or I guess until this condition is true. So I think there's a way to sense if we touch the edge. Let me see here. Um, touching color, touching distance to pointer, key. That drag base backdrop. So um, I guess not. Touching the mouse pointer. Let me see. Touching. Oh, edge. Yeah, perfect. So I'm going to drag that one. Repeat until you touch the edge. So move 10 steps until you've touched the edge, at which point I want to delete this clone. So I'm going to come in here. So uh, switch costume. 
set your sights, point in the right direction, and repeat until you've touched the edge. So repeat, move 10 steps until you've got into the edge, then exit the loop and delete the clone. Let's give it a try. Good. Um, notice the plume is no longer there. And let me show you that. Um, let me show you the magnitude here. Let me put it back to 100%. Notice it disappears when it touches the edge. If I get rid of this and I shoot it, it stays there. It hangs out. So we want to delete the clone. Oh, we don't want to put this inside of the loop because if I put it inside of the loop, it's going to move 10 steps and then delete the clone and not move anymore. You actually don't, you don't even see it. So um, let me get it outside of the loop. Let's change this back to 30. And let's shoot there. And once it reaches the edge, it, the clone disappears. So again, this is supposed to um, symbolize here some, a shooting motion. Now notice I can only shoot up, down, left, and right. Is there a way to shoot um, like in a at a diagonal? Well, yes, there is. Obviously, there is. Uh, but that would require for us to um, implement a different algorithm. So we have uh, we have three separate algorithms here. We have an algorithm that's taking care of the motion of the sprite. We have an algorithm that is detecting whether you, you well, an algorithm that is basically shooting sprites and that algorithm, this one and this one kind of go hand in hand, okay? So there are two algorithms here, two separate algorithms that take care of the shooting of a clone. Okay, so um, there we have it. Let me click on the flag, okay. How do we get make sure that when we click on the flag, uh, we have the robot instead of the rocket? Well, we can go to looks, and when you click on the flag, switch to uh, the costume that we want. So switch to forward looking. Every time. Oh, that's upside down. That's a little odd. Let me look at the costume here. It shouldn't be upside down. Oh, wait, is that because, let me click it one more time. Mm -hmm. Okay, point, oh, I think I, I have the original pointing direction here to negative 90, which kind of flipped it, let me put it at 90. There we go. That rotated it. And you can again make it so that that never happens again. You can go here and we can always have a point when we first start off point to the right. There we go. And we can shoot rockets here. We can only shoot them sideways up, excuse me, sideways and up and down. So I'll work on a follow-up tutorial to see how we can shoot um, like in a diagonal direction.